You guys actually seem to really enjoy the Scoot content, and I got a bunch of comments saying to play this game. So today, we are playing Scooter Flow. So when you first load into the game, you're just right here. There is no tutorial or anything like that. Interesting. I'm assuming the control schemes are relatively the same, but everyone was saying this was a way better version of Scoot. And I'm kind of getting the idea here that this is really the Skater XL of Scooting. You're telling me there's no, no tutorial. Controls. Unused. Un why? Controller don't even load like that no more. So if you guys do enjoy the Scooter Flow content, want to see more videos like this, please leave a like and also subscribe. Without further ado, let's get scooting, baby. Okay, I said press Y to change appearance. Okay. So I'm not gonna lie, so far, at least from right here, this game does seem physically and fluidity better than Scoot. However, it seems like the game itself, like the customization and stuff like that, just is not there yet, which isn't super necessary, so I'm excited to explore. We need to learn how to do tricks. That don't look fun. Okay, there's a tail whip. I'm, I'm so confused. That was actually relatively cool. This is so confusing. So in the start menu, I do see a customize section. And okay, so we can actually customize our entire scooter, which is kind of cool. So we are on the deck. I feel like the scooter looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. Hey, that looks nice. Well, it's neat they allow you to customize your scooter. Under settings, we just have some graphic. Yeah, it's just graphics. Go up to high, why not? Scooter flow in 4K. Hello? Maybe if we just uh, move to to Washington Way Skate Park again, it'll, it worked. Oh, there's different camera settings. That is insane. They have a first person mode, what? That was trippy. They also have like a far camera, which is cool. And then they have like a fish eye close camera. And then they have like a close close up camera. And then the first person. That was so cool, actually. Okay, this is insane, Loki. Oh, that guy just died. No, I like Scoot a lot, and I was honestly interested to try out this Scoot Flow game. And honestly, this first person mode kinda kinda brings it home for me low-key. Does that count as like a stall? I'm so confused on how tricks work in this game. This game feels significantly better than Scoot, I will say. Like this feels good. First person school boat probably just play like this because I think it looks the best. So in the pause menu, we have Mega Ramp, Vert Ramp, and Washington Way Skate Park. We're already at the Washington Way Skate Park, so check out the Vert Ramp. And it seems like we just have a nice little half pipe, which is cool. Seems like, unfortunately, the ramp physics, like, aren't perfect. They're not terrible by any means. They're better than most skateboarding games at the moment. Oh, pressing up leaves a little Scoot Flow sticker, and that is your session marker. Press down, you go to said session marker. I spawned under the ramp. This game is a little bit silly, and now I'm soft locked. Let's check out the Mega Ramp. All right. All right. All right. I'm actually really excited to see how this goes. All right. This game, at least in my experience, does seem a lot more glitchy than Scoot, I will say. Scoot had a lot of problems, don't get me wrong, but at least I could play the game. This, I'm just not getting a lot of... It, it, it does not want me to jump this. What happens if we just, like, bunny hop over? Hey, that worked pretty perfectly, but... I, I spoke too soon. Steez. Yes, sir. That was insane, actually. What just happened? Why did? Why am I in slow motion? When did this happen? <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool so far. Oh, 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 he crazy. He keeps spinning. Oh. Boom. Okay, how do I... Uh, this is funny. This is funny. How do I turn off a uh, slow motion mode, guys? If you click L2 down, it puts you in uh, slow motion mode. Okay, so now we're back in fast motion. Interesting. What? I want to learn some more tricks, but I feel like I'm doing everything they're telling me to, and it's not doing anything different. Yep, like that's the same trick I've been doing. That's new. What was that? A little side grab? If I could do it to the... Okay, it's all... Oh. Uh, this game's fun so far. It does have its bugs and issues, though. It has its bugs and issues. I think the issue with this game is it's actually physics based. And so like when things aren't being physics, they, they break. I've been doing this for a minute and I don't know how to fix it. 
Scooter Flow, let me play the game, man. Yeah, uh, I don't know. This game is a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong. It's just very, very hard to actually play the game. I, I can't do anything. I'm soft locked. I'm soft locked. I don't, I don't know what to do, Scoot Flow. What, what are you doing to me? Okay, uh, I might have figured something out. If you hold both the triggers, it seems like you can do a ton of crazy stuff. Let you see all that? We're in slow motion mode now, so you guys can see everything I'm doing. We're doing like bar spins and spins and uh, the spins. What are those called? Tail whips. We're doing tail whips, baby. Infinite tail whips. And then like the back and forth, I think is crazy. Like that. I, I love that. How do I do other tricks though? I really am lost. So both bumpers let you do bar spins. That's cool. How do you do more tricks though? Like this ain't making much sense. Oh, what was that? That... Hello? What are you looking at? So one thing I will say right off the rip, I don't like that uh, L2 is the thing that makes you go slow motion mode. I just keep clicking it, not meaning to. Ooh, a little bit sketch, but that was I was going for. Double backflip. Oh, we landed it clean. Okay, let's do this. Bet. That was a clean line. That was really nice, actually. So it seems like there is no replay editor, which is a little bit silly. I just wanted to watch me scoop. So vert ramp is cool. Mega ramp is cool. I feel like Washington Way skate park's where it's at, but I I, I, I can't do anything. <laughs> How do you grind? Can you not manual? Right stick is crouch, pump, hop, and manual. Okay. Can you grind or no? It really seems like you can't grind, which isn't a huge deal, but I... Why is this mouse always on my screen? Which isn't a huge deal, but I felt like that's kind of what made Scoot cool. Yeah, it's not really going to ledges unless it's super specific. I, I, I don't know about this. See, like, it, it's like doing a grinding sound, but it doesn't seem like it's a thing in the game. I am confused, truly. If you can't grind in this game, it's gonna, I don't know how it's gonna fare. Oh, wow, there's so much more of said skate park. How neat, how neat. Too bad I can't grind anything. Okay, one thing I will say right off the rip, this is a lot of map for just the starter map, and then to have two other maps, this is already technically better than Scoot. I like Scoot a lot, I just didn't like how I only had one spot to play. This, it gives you pretty much all the options I was wanting in Scoot, so kudos to this game. You can't grind in this game, though, and I really feel like that's a lot of the combinations. Like, I'm so confused. Like, I know grinding isn't huge in Scootering, don't get me wrong. I got the pegs, though, why, why give me the pegs if I can't do anything? Okay, wait, what? Start is menu, okay. But right stick click in is pause? What an odd feature, wow. Your mom's done with the pizza rolls? Pause it real quick, go get them, come back, eat the pizza rolls, boom, fall. That's such an odd feature. You could have you done anything else with that stick, but now I can just pause. Ooh. Wow, you know, this game is confusing. It's better than Scoot in like almost every way, but for some reason, I, 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 I think I enjoyed Scoot more gameplay wise. I will make it clear, this game is very fun and it's also a very, very satisfying pop. Continue. It feels good, the physics are on point, everything's there. Just something about this game, I don't know if it's because it's an early access or what, but having no grinds kind of throws me off of the game because I really like grinding. Like, what are you gonna do on a scooter in a video game? Am I just expected to continuously do backflip 180s and then uh, do some grab tricks like a tail, we want a tail whip, wow, what now? You know what I mean? I feel like grinding would be very, very appreciated. I feel like this game shouldn't have released unless it had grinding. Like, you have this ramp area, right? That's probably why you spawn right here, honestly. This is cool. It works minus the rails. At least I think so. I can't really get a clear answer if grinds are in this game or not. It just doesn't really seem like it works. However, you go over here and yeah, like I could hop on this and hop off and then I could do like a 360 backflip right here, right? But then I have this street section where I can't do anything since there's no grinds in it. And yeah, I could always just, whoa, so fun. Wow, you know what I mean? Grinding would add a lot to this game, honestly. 
I'm actually really excited for this game to become fully more developed because this is a lot of fun. This truly deserves the title of like the Skater XL of scooting. But at the same time, I really feel like there's a lot that still needs to be done. I feel like the control scheme could be reworked. I feel like physics could be reworked a little bit. The physics are great. It's not the physics themselves. It's like how it messes with the game to make it unplayable. The, the, the where I got soft locked and I was just standing there falling over. I didn't do anything to get to that position. The game just didn't want me to be there. So which one is better scoot or scooter flow? I think fully released scooter flow seems to be the better game as of yet, but neither of them are fully released. So I guess we'll just have to see. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think about scooter flow. And if you guys are a real life scooterer, how is it? And how am I doing it compared to, uh, I don't know. Okay. You can manual like that's sick. Don't get me wrong. You're kidding. I can't nose manual. I can't nose manual. Are you kidding me? Can I fake manual? You can't fake manual. Okay, you can't fake manual. I was about to say. Yeah, this game's kind of mesmerizing at the moment. Like, it's a lot of fun. I really like it. I'll honestly probably play this in my free time because it's very satisfying. But at the same time, there's still just so much missing out of this game, like grinds, character customization, a lot like that. But you guys just got to keep in mind that this is a early access game, which means it's pretty much an alpha. But it's good so far, and I like it. And if there's any other games like this, like Skater XL, Descender, Scoot, Scooter Flow, anything like that, action game sports that you guys would like to see me play, please let me know in the comments down below kind of been thinking about playing writers republic i heard they added bmx to that and there's also bmx the game so if you guys like to see either of those please let me know but i think that's gonna do it for scooter flow today like i said i had a handful of comments saying that like this was the superior scooter game which i think i can agree to like a hundred percent it's 100 percent the better scooter game that was kind of cool. I feel like Scoot has the better game overall at the moment in terms of customization, what there is to do in the game, etc. But they also do only have one map, so it's kind of mesmerizing. Let me know what you guys think, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Pop video yeah, yeah yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video once again and as always it's been your boy cj or sorbo and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out <laughs>